everybody welcome back to my channel i'm here with another plan with me this time i am in my b6 so let me show you what this last week looked like um not a whole lot happened i really did love having this many habit trackers to fill up all of this space because like i said a lot of it was unpacking um we ended up moving mowing the lawn to was it monday or tuesday I can't remember. It was one of those. I pay quarterly taxes. Um, we moved the litter box to uh, today. So I'm not going to leave any of those. Like, I'm not going to move any of those. It's not a big deal. Um, but everybody stayed on schedule for their laundry. We totally forgot about trash, but so did the rest of the neighborhood. So I don't know. It was a weird weekend. So we had a very, very weird, weird weekend where Friday evening we were going out to look at dance studios. And a lot of them were closed even though their website said they were open. But we saw that there was like kids out at certain like weird times of the day. Like something was happening this last weekend and we don't know what. Like we're so new to all of this that we just don't know what. So I figured, I know that I just used this kit on Monday in my seven by nine planner, but I thought it would be fun to use this kit um, for for like my, my household planner because I really did enjoy doing doing um, this kind of layout and everything kind of pre-planning my cleaning my cleaning that needed to be done um, and stuff even though still a lot of it is unpacking. Uh, so I met, forgot to mention a few things on my Monday video. I forgot to mention um, for some reason, my, and I just noticed this the other day that I had a whole bunch of comments. So I was starting to think like, cause I wasn't getting them in my emails and I wasn't getting them on my notifications on my phone. I was like, man, nobody's liking my videos. Now I do realize that videos, you know, view, viewership is down all the way around. Everything is kind of changing in the planner community right now. Uh, a lot has to do with economy. Um, it's easier to not watch videos so that you're not tempted to buy things. Like, I totally get it. Like, it's a thing, right? But I was like, man, I usually have people commenting on my videos. What is going on? I haven't been receiving any of the notifications. So I see that there's comments there. Um, I am not ignoring you. I just had absolutely no clue that people were commenting because I wasn't getting even the emails. Um, and I usually do get those. So... My apologies, I am going to put it on my list for this week uh, to comment back to you all. So with that, I also need to give a shout out to Renee. Uh, she knows who she is. I received your cards um, in the mail. We were able, Steve went down to the old PO box and was able to get all of the mail um, and stuff. And he says, Thank you for the card. And I'm saying thank you for the card and wishing us well on our um, trip to the new house. So Renee, thank you for the cards. We, we love you and I have a stack of cards from you going because if you don't know Renee, Renee is an amazing, amazing person. I met her through this wonderful community which um, Raise your hands if you're missing having a community where you saw shop owners loving on each other who became some of best friends with each other. Uh, amazing, amazing um, customers and fans that just gave so much support. I know so many of you are here from that community. I miss it. Um, I miss that community aspect. Um, so hopefully something will happen and a new community will pop up and things will bring it back to giving the love to each other, right? Okay, so I'm going to start off with, with laundry. How am I going to do that? What do I want to use? Okay, so I, hmm. Dun, 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 dun. Like, I don't have a, hmm, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do 
here. What do I want to do here? I don't really need a side bar column. Um, and even if I do, like I can layer over this, which is fine. That's completely fine. So I think we're gonna, we're gonna cover up these ends over here. I'm just trying to figure out what I want to use as laundry stickers um, to mark who has laundry on what day. And I think I'm gonna mark that up at the top this time. So I have six there. So I'm really, really, really digging the new B6 format. Oh, I'm trying to reach a planner over here. Sorry about that. I wanna show you the new format. Let me open it up and see if I can find it. This is one of my testing planners. There we go. Okay, so this was in the horror box. Um, this is gonna be the new format that comes out that's going to be able to fit your weeks planner, a vertical planner without the bottom washi. However, if you get like a box that has washi or you have washi, it's gonna fit that. Um, should fit the A5 compact, because I have a customer who uses the smaller boxes in their A5 compact. Uh, it's going to work well in your academic planners. It's going to be perfect for B6. Uh, you know, like, we're getting that, okay? So I'm really loving this format. I got such great feedback, so now I'm wanting to switch everything over, and I can't do that because I print and cut our stickers ahead of time. So I'm gonna make the official decision on Monday, this Monday, to um, decide what kits moving forward will have this new format. We're gonna change them. Oh my goodness, I'm talking so much, I'm like swallowing air, and that's not good. Um, I'm gonna make the official decision on Monday as to what kits moving forward, because we do have kits in production right now, are going to be in that format, and then, you know, we'll just move forward with that, right? I'm really, really, really excited for things coming up. But anyways, I'm looking for what I want to use. Oh, what am I thinking? I have leftovers from the kit that I used earlier. That's the whole reason why I kept this out here because I wanted to use up what was in my, in my stash. Um, oh, I'm gonna put this on the back end because the back column doesn't normally get a lot of productive like stuff in it. It's more of a filler column, right? So, and I have all these beautiful stickers up here. I'm not gonna do anything tipsy or turvy or anything like that. I'm gonna really keep it there, but I do have all of these leftovers here, which will make things easier. Because the only thing that I didn't like about last week's spread was the fact that it um, had a lot of a lot of filler. Okay, so that I I didn't or like it had it had a lot of filler. It had a lot of blank space. It it needed more filler. That's what I'm trying to say. See, I can get to where I need to be. I got I got what is commonly referred to as the fasty go goes. Um, if you don't know what those are, that is where your brain moves faster than your mouth and you can't quite get the two to coordinate together. Uh, so we call it the fasty go-go's. I saw that on a reel on Facebook the other day and I really liked that term because it really is my, and it's like, you're like, um, what's the, you, you know, yeah, yeah. Brain is just working way too fast. All right. So. Let's take a look here. Let me see what I got that I can use for laundry stickers. Oop, I know exactly what I can use. Okay, so this will give me plenty. I can layer a, nope, we're gonna put that up at the top. I just got done saying we were gonna put it up at the top. Um, I can layer a script sticker over the top area, and then I can put the person's name down who has laundry that day. I am telling you, since we implemented this new 
um, structure. It's been a full two weeks now. The only people who are not onto it have been myself and my husband. Um, my daughter kind of gets lumped in there because she throws her, she uses our um, shower room. Uh, and that's because she has long hair and we're trying to teach her how to uh, clean up her hair mess after she's done out of the shower. Uh, hard, hard thing to learn for those who have long hair, but you know, gotta all learn it. And so she just throws her dirty clothes into our hamper. So she, um, and her clothes are still so, like they don't make up a full load after a week. They don't make up a full good load, right? So, yeah. So we just have her throw them in with ours. But as far as the boys, the boys have been really on top of it. And I've actually been really, really impressed with their youngest son. Because I thought he would be the one that would have the biggest problem with it. But even on the nights that, like the one night he, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one more. Um the night that he forgot to switch his laundry over to the dryer he stayed up late and uh finished it which i'm really impressed because that's a hard thing to do when all you want to do is go to bed um so you know props to him so this has really been a great i don't know why we didn't incorporate this sooner because just makes so much sense and they know what day and i think because we have incorporated the habit of having the prayer every night at dinner and everybody rotates and it stays the same every week that it makes it easier. I don't know why we didn't implement this um, sooner with everybody. Okay, so Monday is Steve. So Steve... Um, Tuesday is mine. I can't center in a sticker. Uh, Wednesday is going to be Aiden's laundry day. He's really good about that. Uh, he's my oldest and he really um, takes his hygiene seriously. I think that's because girls like him. And so he knows that's a, that's a factor. So, so yeah. And then on Saturday, it's Andre's. And then back to Sunday, Steve gets a second day because he has a prayer twice. Not that he needs it. So if we do need that extra day at the end of the week, cool, we have it. If we don't, like say mine and Steve's laundry and Audrey's laundry is done. And the boys, one of the boys is like, hey, you know, I forgot to throw my sheets in with my wash this last week. Can I go ahead and do it? They'll have that free day, right? So it's really been been a good, good thing. Okay, so, all right, next thing up is gonna be dishes. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put, I am gonna just, um, now we're gonna kind of mix these up just a little bit. So, next thing up is gonna be dishes. We'll get those situated and taken care of. So, oh, I gotta be able to see what I'm doing. So yeah, it's really, it really has worked out um, really, really well. Like I said, I'm really, impressed with my kids and how they've been doing things lately and and stuff and I really do thank them for being on on top of it because if they weren't man I'd be just one one big old mess because you know mamas mamas get tired from having to do all of the work and making sure it's up there and so they've been doing a lot better on this move i think you know they just weren't impressed with uh the house we had in bay city and they wanted something different because they really have been well i know what exactly what it is um this neighborhood that we live in has a lot more kids and they do remember from their time um in san antonio that if they didn't get their chores done and up to 
the standard that I thought was age appropriate and acceptable. Um, they didn't get to go outside and play with their friends. So I do know that that's an actual big factor into all of this um, because they do have, and the my older teenage boys, normally we've always been in neighborhoods where it uh, has been a lot younger kids than my older two. The only one that we had was base housing had such a good mix. That was really good, but that's kind of to be expected. Um, but as far as everywhere else, it's usually been the younger kids that have kids around. So this one's really, really nice because there's some, there are some teenagers that really do love to come out and play. Um, so that's like I've met our, let's see, household. I need to find dish stickers. I have found, um, I have found a neighbor a couple doors down, you know, came up and introduced herself to, to us. And she was like, I'm going to bring you by some brownies. And her and her husband came by and brought some brownies. And she's like, yeah, her son is right there in between your two oldest. So he's like so excited that there's, um, friends in the neighborhood to, to, to play with and everything. And I was like, hey, if he's done with his homework and whatnot and he doesn't see our kids out and about, by all means, just just send him on over. He can come knock on our door, no problem whatsoever, right? So they have been playing outside and all of the kids have been loving it. Like they're all coming to our house and playing in our front yard, playing right there. And I couldn't be happier. I really couldn't. Okay, so these are stickers that I've had forever from uh, Bubble Mon Sticker, Stickers Co. I don't know if the shop is open anymore. It's been a long time since I have um, bought stickers from them. So I am just obviously trying to use up my stash and and everything so so part of me does not want to unload all of my albums okay i'm gonna kind of explain so i have these top loading albums and i love them okay do not get me wrong i absolutely adore them they're a lot of fun i just they're hard when your entire category is filled up and you buy more stickers for that category you have to basically rearrange everything hence the reason why i switched to the disc albums um is because you could just add pages where you needed uh, so i do like that aspect there uh, however i don't want to take all of my stickers out and reorganize them into into disc albums so I am trying to be a little bit more conscious and, and I have a stack of character stickers actually that I need to organize. So all of the character stickers that are in my shop, so Boo, Morty, and Gizmo, they are all going to go to their own disc albums and be organized that way, right? And we just got the tab dividers, which oh, I can't wait to get started on those. Really, really can't. Um, but, uh, Okay, so, but yeah, I mean, um, I'm trying to be more conscious. So newer character stickers are gonna go into the disc albums. We're gonna recategorize those all and um, get that all situated and going with the new character stickers and then obviously ones that I know that I like from my sash here and that I'll reorder, those will end up going into the, um, let's do this guy here. They will go into the um, disc albums. And so slowly but surely I'll start, you know, phasing out my top loading sticker albums over here. Just it's just an evolution. It's great for, you know, what it what it needed to be for, and now it's time to evolve into into something else. And eventually we'll evolve evolve into 
a different type thing. So, you know, it's all, it's all good. It is all good. Okay. So let's go back. All right. So now that I kind of have the two main things done that I need to get done every single day, um, and I have my full boxes. Now this bottom portion, I get to play around with a little bit more because there aren't so many things that I need to put down there. And some of it is gonna be just, you know, as needed type thing. Um, so the, uh, you know, for some of the cleaning. So I my kids vacuum every day, I can put that in. I don't have any, ha I, ha I do have a habit tracker. I could put that into the side. However, I don't know if that's what I want to do just yet. But this is a whole evolution for, you know, ensuring some of the house aspects are taken care of. It's completely boring, but it's kind of what life is, it's boring. You know, you want life to be kind of, you want life to be fun. You don't want life to be dramatic. You like the consistency of life um, and stuff. But sometimes we need to have some, some boringness in order to know what the heck we're doing, right? So, okay, so Tuesdays are trash days. So let's go ahead and make sure that we have that marked down and then Saturdays are supposedly trash days as well. Like I said, this last Saturday, the um, neighbors didn't have their trash out and stuff and we didn't hear a car or a garbage truck. So like I said, I don't know if there was, there's something weird going on. Um, we're just, we're just trying to figure out this community so far. <laughs> So that's all. I'm still gonna put it down. However, if it doesn't happen, that's all good too. But I do know that Tuesday is here and I really do hope that this was just a weird uh, weekend so that that way I can get back onto it. I have looked, guys, I have looked on our utility um, website and they don't have it published, which actually is kind of frustrating. Um, but you know, it is what it is. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use these emojis here. Why? Because they're freaking cute. Who doesn't love a good emoji from Coffee Monsters Co.? Oh, I get to meet her this November. She's going to be at Sugary Gal Shop um, conference in November, and I'm going, and I'm so excited because I can't wait to meet her. She is, if you don't know who she is, I just, even if you don't like her style of stickers and whatnot, her, just the mere fact that she started her business when she was in high school and grew it to what it was, like goals, 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 goals. Okay, um, Saturday is going to be Clean Bedrooms Day, so there we have that kind of went really crooked. We'll fix it. Okay, there we go. Okay, so clean bedrooms. Sundays are more of a prep day. Um, do I have a vacuum sticker? I think I do have a vacuum sticker. I'd rather, yeah, oh, so in the whole unpacking phase, we have also, uh, um, two, Three, four, five, six, and seven. So vacuuming has to happen every day. I get on my kids. If it doesn't, I get really frustrated and mad because the hair is all over the place. I don't get frustrated and mad at them. I get frustrated and mad at the fact that there's hair all over the place because um, that's just not, not my thing. Okay, let's see. Hmm, what do we want to use? Okay, so I think we're going to use these guys here. I like these little washy strips. They're fun. But yeah, with the whole unpacking situation, um, unpacking is going to happen every day. 
Vacuuming has to happen every day. Oh, our shoes, we've got a um, shoe shelf or not, a shoe shelf bench coat rack thing. I don't know what you would call it, to be honest with you. Um, but we got that for our front door. So now that we can, because uh, we like to not wear the shoes in the house as much. Um, I really do try to have indoor and outdoor shoes. I'm not the best at it, but you know, um, I try. And uh, this way now having that there will be a little bit easier to ensure that those who don't need to go back outside to grab stuff can um, put their shoes up and we don't have them right in the walkway. Okay, so these are gonna be the vacuum stickers. Vacuuming every day. And then I'm trying to think, I know we need to mow the lawn again this week, but I don't know what day. Clean bedrooms, trash day. Okay, we're gonna have to um, clean bathrooms. Maybe, maybe on Saturday, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna leave it kind of open and we'll figure it out from there. But uh, we're gonna put down more stickers because we wanna make sure that it is full and amazing so that I will actually put something down because otherwise I won't. I will leave it to just be. Um, and that's what I don't want to do. I don't wanna leave it be. All right, so I have these fun and wonderful circle stickers that we can use on these other days because I actually have Saturday is really kind of filled up with stuff already. To um, not believe, let's do the green one here. Sunday here. Okay, so which one am I missing? Yeah, Tuesday was kind of filled up too. All right, so let's put this one on. Nope. Yes. Nope. Yes. There. Okay. And I have a couple here. I love these larger, like, well, that one just decided it wanted to lay down right there, and that's not really where I wanted it to go. All right, come on up, sticker. Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's put you down here. And we just have one right there. Um, I think I'm gonna use this larger sticker and this smaller one. I'm gonna layer it, and then that way I can just layer over scripts or characters and whatever needs to go, right? So there we go. Okay, I think I have everything. Yep. Perfect. Let's open it up. Let's take a gander at it. And I think we're golden. Got a real good pre-plan going on for this upcoming week. I used leftovers. I obviously still have a ton of leftovers from this kit. Um, but it's all pretty much now solid colors. So can match it within match it with other stuff. So yeah, I'm really excited. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this plan with me. Um, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Give, give it a thumbs up. Make sure you've liked and subscribed to my channel. Leave me a comment down below, and I'm going to figure out this week why I'm not getting, getting updates um, and stuff. Uh, my app is up to date. My app is up to date, so we'll, we'll get it figured out. Anyways, that's what I have for you guys. I'll open it up here so you can check one more time, and I'll see you guys in my next video. I know.